Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. This is Johar. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Johar. Uh, I do have like five plus years of experience in the recruitment process. Meanwhile, I would be going to take care of your placements uh, department from, uh, actually I have been taking care of this from couple of, uh, a week ago. Uh, I will be continuing as a placements department in charge uh, regarding the placements and uh, resume building, how to uh, guide you in such interview processes and everything. Uh, from uh, today, we, we are going to start the class session, like how to build your resumes uh, and also how to, uh, what the clients will be having, how to attend for the interviews or if you have any communication skills problems and everything, I will be going to take care of everything. If you have any doubts, you can just ask me after uh, completing of the session. I think everyone is clear right now, till now, okay? Is everyone is clear? Can I have some response from your side? You can unmute and you can say if you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hope yes, it's sir. good. Yeah, it's going good. Okay, yes, fine. Uh, let me start the session for today. I just uh, want to tell you that, what, do you know what is the recruiting process? Can I have some answers from you? What exactly the recruitment process, how does it works? Any one of you, you can just unmute and you can just. Do you guys, do you hear me? I just want yes, some answers. Yeah, anyone, can you just uh, tell me that what exactly, whatever you know, you just, it would be like interaction session. So that uh, I can just suggest you something, uh, how you can cope up with this. Thanks. I need just, uh, whatever you know, you just uh, speak out and tell me, that's it. Any one of you? I have like 48 students here right now. No one else? Onboarding the candidate into the organization. Okay, process. good. The query. Okay. Yeah, you are right. Exactly, Ramakrishna. Next, anyone? Yeah, let me start. Uh, I mean, like exactly what the recruitment process is that hiring a candidate for the correct position, exact position. I mean, like you might know, example, take a sales force, a developer or admin uh, or any position. Whenever the client needs the candidate, right, suitable candidate for the position, then the opportunity will be released from the end clients. You have to uh, know about what is end client and what is implementation partners. Meanwhile, the end clients you might uh, hear. Can I uh, know any names yeah, from yeah. Your, your side like end clients? Uh -huh. Do you know whatever the end clients? Yeah. I need responses from you guys because it's it would be the interaction session. If you respond uh, so that I can guide you. Any one of you tell me some clients. Mission Bio. Sorry? Mission Bio. I didn't get you. Can I know your good name? <coughs> no. yeah. yeah, this is Ramakrishna. Uh, yeah, yeah Ramakrishna. One of the first client was uh, Mission Bio. And, okay. Uh, Those uh, are uh, the manufacturing and. Uh, okay. I mean, asking about the clients in the, like uh, what the, in software domain, I mean, like this domain. Do you have heard about the Morgan Stanley, at and Wells Fargo, Cox Communications, Capital Group, Wells Fargo, uh, GE? I think some of you know. If not, uh, like, do you hear about TCS, Infosys, Tech Mahindra? Yes. Yeah, these are all the implementation partners. Uh, these will be working for the end clients, actually. Uh, like if we have a positions like for the what I said uh, previously, uh, Morgan Stanley, HSBC, Wells Fargo, uh, Optum, AT&T, and Cisco Group, Capital Group, uh, GE, and these are the end clients. They, they will be having a requirement for the Salesforce developer position then exactly uh, they will be releasing the uh, notification that we do have a position. Uh, we need a suitable candidate uh, for the position. 
they will they will release the jd jd is nothing but the job description they will mention the skills whatever the required skills they need uh in the job description uh they are they will be searching for the candidates so they will release it to the implementation partners implementation partners like tcs infosys sign tech mahindra and these are all called the implementation partners so that uh whenever uh whenever uh they see these implementation partners just a second someone sharing screen oh okay sorry uh the implementation partners will be searching for the candidates uh suitable candidates and then they will be searching do you know about the job portals have you heard about the job portals what the job portals yes sir yes yeah can i know what what you know, like... sorry yeah, whatever you know. Okay, now curry. Okay, fine. It's fine. Yeah, now curry. Glass, uh, tech glass players, door. Glass door. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. LinkedIn. Nice. LinkedIn. It's good. Say LinkedIn is a social platform, and also we can apply for the jobs. Meanwhile, yeah, it's good. Okay, these are all the these are all the job portals which we used in uh India. Uh, in you say they'll be using Monster Dice. Uh, in India, some uh, companies may use Monster even some candidates. And uh, these we have to apply for the jobs. Then uh, exactly we will be uh, say uh, up uploading our resume resumes in the job portals. Then later, uh, recruiters from the companies uh, or HRs from the departments they will be having HR department, and there will be recruiters who are going to hire the candidates. They will be searching for the jobs. Uh, uh, they will be getting the JD, what ex before previously I said, from the client. Then they will be searching for the suitable candidate for the position. Then later, uh, the process would be like, uh, they will be searching for the candidates. They will be in search of the good and uh, knowledge candidates. So that you have to be very, uh, when you prepare a resume, you have to be very uh, careful because they will be taking the candidates based on your resumes, most probably. They will see your resumes and they will uh, shortlist the candidates. So when you prepare a resume, you have to be very careful that uh, it should be very uh, clean and like it. It whenever will a recruiter or a HR looks at it, it should be appreciable. Uh, so that they will be uh, calling you and uh, they will go for the further rounds. Uh, in in case if you send any resume, if you prepare a resume that in such a way that whenever they look at a glance, it it is not uh, looking something uh, clumsy clumsy and all those things if you mention in the resume so that it will not, they will not at least call you for the second round even so that's a very important thing that you have to be prepare a good resume so that it would be helpful to you to get the job very easily so today as previously most of you i think some of you people know might know me or some uh, some might uh, not so we have already sent the resume sample resumes to you all of you uh, I think everyone have uh, received your resumes, okay, uh, sample resumes, I think. I will just uh, share the screen and I will show you whatever the resumes, how to prepare the resume, okay? I think everyone can see my screen, hopefully. Yeah, I think yes, it was, sir. yeah, okay, fine. Uh, I think everyone have received the emails from past one week. We are uh, trying to tell you these points. We have done, uh, we have prepared two resumes like one for the freshers and for the experienced candidates. Whenever uh, we build a resume that it should be looks like exactly the first and the most important thing in the resume is that margin alignment. Whenever uh, we see from the top to bottom of the resume, if you see that the main headings from the top to bottom is in a same line. If you observe that exactly the, from the declaration, personal details and the hobbies and all these things, uh, trial head points, education, qualification, technical skills, professional summary, career objectives. And these all points was in exactly from the top of the uh, top of the resume to the bottom of the resume. It should be in a margin alignment should be in a single line. OK, uh, we have to observe whenever you prepare a resume first and the most important thing you have to take care of these guys. And next, coming to uh, point wise, you just mention your name, phone, email. Uh, you mention the LinkedIn and Trailhead link. Whenever uh, we click this link, it should be directly re reload to your LinkedIn page so that you have to add these things. And next, coming to K 
career objective you have to prepare your own and next coming to professional summary make sure the professional summary should be your own words like it should be like not beyond uh, for pressure candidates you just mention like eight to ten lines it would be fine you have to uh, take your own points don't copy from uh, any others resumes okay because whenever uh, if you copy something else when the recruiter or hr or a technical round if, if if you are selected for it they will be asking the questions based on your resume whatever you know like from uh, beginning if you are i i think almost it's uh, six months you have done your courses till today so whenever you uh like uh whenever uh the hr or the recruiter or the technical round uh panel will be asking the question based on your resume whatever you uh like whatever you note uh, if you mention these points so and so points trial head points and everything hands-on experience good knowledge these everything the things should be your own please don't copy from others okay my sincere suggestion to you is please don't copy make some notes like eight to ten points by your own so that whatever you have some may have knowledge in the admin some may have in the development some might have in the uh lightning as well which uh category you are strong in it you just focus on those points okay because uh if you mention that i have experience i have good knowledge in uh so and so uh like uh whatever uh i have good knowledge in uh these type of uh uh, development but uh, you don't have that knowledge whenever you mention in the resume they will be asking you questions in the development role so that you might uh, not answer so whatever the stream you are uh, good in it you just uh, focus on that and mention the points please don't copy okay i think till now it is clear if anyone have any doubts till now and next coming to the technical skills as meanwhile yes, yeah okay fine. uh meanwhile you just mentioned in a points that admin development lightning and tools and clouds and also whatever you have uh, web talk web technologies or some uh, skills some have languages programming languages c java whatever you have you just add those points we are just uh, trying to show you the main uh, the like how yeah, example sample resume how it should look like that's it the points should be by your own Whatever you have knowledge in it, you just uh, focus on that and mention it. And next, coming to education qualifications, though those who have passed out uh, between 20, 2020 to 23, you can just mention your years, okay? Like uh, 18, 18 to 20, 22, 23. But uh, those who passed out before 2020, try to avoid the mentioning the years because whenever they see the resume, if you apply for the pressures, it would be like 2018 or 17 or 16. Some might think that uh, you would be having the career gap and they may not, they might not call you even. So whenever they call you, you can just uh, justify yourself. Like whatever you've done, uh, this gap, uh, you have to justify yourself. If you mention here itself, they don't even try to call you. So whenever you get a call, we can uh, try to justify the things. But uh, my suggestion is that to please uh, don't mention before 2020 year. Okay. And next coming to the projects uh, here we mentioned example trial head project but some might have experience in the projects uh, you might have done many pro you might have done some projects in the course training time uh, madam sopna madam has also given some uh, projects to you i think hopefully uh, those points you just mention like a uh, name role duration and the description and the responsibilities responsibilities is nothing but whatever what is your responsibility in the projects what the project you have done whatever you you are uh uh thing what you done a contribution uh, in the project you just uh mention those clearly and next coming to hobbies and personal details uh, you just mention these points it would be fine and then next declaration i think uh everyone has these resume with you so try to uh like you make the your own resume by this you just uh, think this as an example and you just add the points by your own okay whenever i will show you like what previously i said linkedin just
Okay. Uh, the thing is that it's not okay. Fine. No issues. If you whenever uh we try to move uh the, whenever we click in this this is a word document. That's the thing. It's not redirecting to LinkedIn. Whenever uh in in PDF it will be redirect directly to the LinkedIn. That's what the thing I'm going to say you. Whenever you click on these link, it should be directly redirect to your LinkedIn. Uh, try to make these things like that. It is nothing but you just copy those LinkedIn link, your profile link, and you just paste here. Whatever in the trial head even. Okay. Uh, this is for the freshers. Uh, resume that you have to prepare. And for the experienced one, you just, uh, in freshers, if you have any certifications, you can just add those on the right side of the top of right side. Okay. In the resume. And next while coming to the experience resume, it's a uh, same like professional summary. But uh, one more point that I want to add is uh, for fresher resumes, please don't mention that I have experience in it. Like I have, uh, you just mentioned like knowledge, good knowledge on so and so because you are a fresher, right? That's the thing you just have to say that I have good knowledge on so and so things. While when coming to the uh, experience one, you can just mention that I have experience in so and so domain. Okay. I have worked in uh worked on uh creating or worked on experience on reports like this. Uh, in uh, same as it is like in professional summary, you can just add your own points like experienced points. Uh, but uh, in freshers it will be fine like eight to nine points. But in uh experienced resume you can just add like fifteen to eighteen points. It would be good looking to see. As technical skills, it is same. And next education qualifications while coming to the experienced one. You just mention your highest education qualification. It might be BTEC, MTEC, MSc, BSc, whatever it is. You just mention the highest degree. That's it. It would be fine. And next coming to work experiences. Here you have to mention each and every work experiences from till date and from the past you mentioned in the resume. Like in if you started your career in 2012, then you have to start it like 2012 to 15 or 15 to 18. And one thing is that I want to clear, make a note that the top of which you mentioned, it would be, it should be like till present experience. Like you have seen like 2022 till date. So when you mentioned in the experience wise from the, like the past experience should be coming from like 2012, it should be the bottom and till date should be on the top. Okay. I think everyone was clear with that. Everyone. I think no one was responding from your side. Experience. Yes, uh, sir. Next, yes, sir. Com next coming to projects. Yes, sir. Uh, next coming to projects, you just uh, elaborate the project like client and your role and also the description and the responsibilities. Whatever, uh, as we said previously, in the projects experience, you will be having uh, your responsibilities from different domains like uh, some may uh, do like administrator in one project. Some may like uh, uh, play say uh, developer role. Uh, some may have lightning experience. It's based on your uh, whatever you put in the resumes. It's uh, it depends on the project. You just put your responsibilities and everything. Uh, see this. The thing I said. It is like whenever if you look at this from May two thousand twenty to twenty one August, the date should be like uh, from uh, bottom. It should be the past projects, the top, which we mentioned the project, it should be the latest one. Okay. Like 2023 September, it is the latest one. When you go to, uh, don't mention like someone will mention 2012 to 14 will be the top project and 14 to 16 will be the second project. You should not mention in that way. Please try to make this as a serious note because the present project should be your top project, project one, the latest one. Okay. That's it. How many uh, projects you have, you just uh, mention according to it, uh, like whatever you want to put the experiences and all those things. You just, uh, we do have sent these resumes and also the certifications you can just mention right side, it, it would be fine or left side also no issues. But if you mention it in the right side, it would be, it looks good. Okay. Till now, I think everyone was clear with this. If you have any doubts, you can just uh, ask me right away. I can clarify your doubts. Sir, yeah, like uh, for fresher, um, um, is it possible to create like LinkedIn, um, uh, for freshers? What do you suggest? 
uh, LinkedIn is that uh, you can just mention your education qualifications and also in some cases uh, you might see that uh, whatever the sales force uh, LinkedIn uh, for freshers or experience everyone can create no issues it's not a problem right you can just mention the whatever you put in the resume you just add those some points in the description of your LinkedIn it would be fine okay if there is a lot of career grab career gap and uh, we have in other um, careers and i'm just switching to it how do you write in the i mean like you are trying to move on the re pressure resumes or experience to work? yeah pressure sir pressure resume okay uh, that's what the thing i'm saying uh, now presently actually we do have some uh, from past one week we are trying to uh, do the resume things because uh, we are getting uh, like we some of the companies were asking organizations asking for the resumes of the freshers they they have like they're not going to see any your past experience or anything else they just want that uh, you have the knowledge on the sales force or not that's it if you have any knowledge in sales force like uh, from six months you are training right if you have good knowledge on that you can just whatever we send you the resumes you just add those points in that you just try to don't uh, add your years of uh, passed out so that it would be fine. Okay, sir. Uh, but uh, I'm not in India, sir. I don't know how it works. In I'm in US, sir. So oh, I just USA. wanted to know. Yeah, USA, I think freshers, there will be most probably, I think there would not be any chances. Hopefully, you know how the recruitment process. Actually, I do have working experience in USIT recruitment pastly. I do work for the USA since five years even. I know most probably there will be they will be putting experience as your consultant might know it. I yeah. Think. The consultants yeah. will be take care of that, hopefully. The Bencils okay. team would be there, right, for you. Yeah. Yeah, they will be taking care of it. Okay. Okay, sir. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I didn't upload my resume in LinkedIn because I have carried up so I can keep my LinkedIn account in resume. Yeah, of course, you can just uh, LinkedIn is the social platform. Nowadays, every recruiter or HR is looking at the LinkedIn uh, to identify whether the, they are genuine or fake. Whatever you have that you can just upload in the LinkedIn, no issues. Like whatever the knowledge you have, you can just elaborate your points in the description in the LinkedIn. So that whatever you put in the resume, you just add those points. It would be fine. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone have any doubts? Uh, if you, we have just uh, sent you the resumes, like sample resumes to everyone, hopefully. You just uh, try to make the, like, please don't. I got some resumes I have from past one week. I have been seeing the resumes that uh, like 50% of the candidates just putting their names. They are just changing the, modifying the names and sending me back the resumes. So my sincere advice to you is please don't do that because when you, you should have to attend for the interviews. Whenever you, whenever, uh, if you send that type of the resumes, they will be asking about the things which you put in the resume. So it would, you cannot answer to those questions. Whatever you know, you try to, Elaborate the things in the resume. That's it. Whatever you are strong in it, you will be having the confidence in yourself, right? In admin or development or lightning. You just try to put those things. Uh, please, one by one, just I will respond to you. Someone is sending charts. Can you please unmute and if possible, you can just ask me right away. I can. Tabish Ravi. I just heard uh, just yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. If I want to come and meet you in person, uh, what's the best time? Uh, because I have my story is entirely different, so I want to take your uh, suggestion and advice uh, to before for the proceeding. Like, can so, I know where you are located it? currently, Ravi? Yeah, I'm currently in Hyderabad. Okay, tomorrow I will be in institute, like from ten to two o'clock. You can come anytime. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Tabish, I have not worked on any projects yet, so should I need to write in Freshers Resume project? 
Yeah, Tabish, you can just, uh, you have the knowledge on uh, trial head. Hopefully, I think you might have done any project in trial head. You can just mention that as your project, Tabish. It would be fine. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, Tabish. Uh, please uh, try to send uh, everyone uh, your resumes, like whatever you want. Like, uh, can I have your number, Musta? You can just, I will just uh, send my uh, number to everyone so that if you have any doubts, you can just call me right away. Okay. From. I will just type in a message. Please note down the number. Eight zero one nine one six zero one six one. Ah, you can just ah uh, call me. Like if you have any doubts personally, you can just call me. I can suggest you. And meanwhile, you just first try to prepare your resume and send it to my email. After sending to me, you can just call me so that I can check your resume and I can verify and I can clarify your doubts. I can modify if any changes you have to made. I can just suggest you. Okay. Sir, can you just repeat your number, please? Yeah, sure. So office number eight zero one nine one six zero one six one. I will repeat once again eight zero one nine one six zero one six one. You can just call me after sending your resumes. If you call me, so that I can suggest you in a way that you can uh if any changes or anything else, or else you can just uh ping me in WhatsApp even. Sir, can you repeat one more time, sir? Yeah, sure. Eight zero one nine one six zero one six one. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Sir, shall we receive an internship or training certificate from institute? Uh, from institute, uh, we don't. I think at this moment there is no trainings or internship certificate as we didn't uh, mention you previously. We just try to. Uh, that's what the thing I am saying. Uh, Nirali, I think, Mehta, we are uh trying to uh guide you in way that if you prepare your resumes and send us, uh, we if we have like we are uh four to five of the companies were asking for the candidates those who had been trained in the sales force, we will try to move your profiles. We will try to send them the resumes so that you may get uh interview calls. Please uh, try to send us as soon as possible so that if any companies, because now everyone is having some interviews so that uh, we have like two to three to four companies that are asking for the candidates. Please uh, try to be strong in the technical side as well when you attend for pre before the interview, because if you send your resume, they will be thinking that you have been trained well in the sales force so that they might ask you technically the questions. Hope everyone has my number and you can just ping me in WhatsApp or if you have any doubts, you can just uh, call me. Uh, but please try to send me. I think everyone has received the email of the resume sample resumes. It would be with you. Please try to modify the changes, but don't copy and paste. OK. I think everyone was clear. You just add your own points in the professional summary or technical skills or projects or anything else. Whatever you know, you just put it on the resume. Please don't copy from others. My sincere suggestion to everyone. Okay, guys, if you want to uh, directly talk to me, I will be available tomorrow, like 10 to 2, tomorrow morning in the institute. You can just uh, come and uh, talk to me if you have any doubts. Still. Oh, we are done for the day. If anything else, you can just call me or ping me in WhatsApp or you can call me directly. Okay, I think it's the meeting is going to end. Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, hope everyone has understood. If you have still any doubts, you can just unmute you and you can just ask me, right? Thank you, sir. Yeah, fine. Sir, I have a small doubt. Yeah, Sujita. Uh, Imaja, okay, sir. Sure. Yeah, tell me. Uh, sir, uh, if we uh, daily, if we attend the daily class, means that. Uh, Information we upload it in, in LinkedIn daily means 
when we prepare that resume for uh, experienced people it, it may not affect uh when we when you upload you just uh linkedin you can just uh, create one more link it would be fine no issues like one more linkedin okay when you put for the experience resume image linkedin you can okay. just add those points uh like if you create one more linkedin account and you can just mention the experience in the linkedin okay okay, okay. Okay, just office team want to discuss with you something else. I will just screen, share the screen with you. Whoever uh, joining in December, please fill this form. Office team is requesting you to do this. I think everyone uh, received that message. Okay. Only the new students, uh, please try to fill these forms. It's in your chart, I think so. Okay, guys, uh, if you have any doubts, you can just uh, write away. I will be available in at Institute tomorrow. You can just uh, come directly or if you, you can, if you are unable to come, you can just call me. But please try to uh, send the resumes as soon as possible because, because we have like many positions available right now. Okay, hopefully, thank you everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.